Welcome to Miss Pam Reads. Today we are reading Habit 3 in the series, The Seven Habits of Happy Kids. A Place for Everything by Sean Covey, illustrated by Stacy Curtis. Oh, this feels like a brand new book. Whew. A Place for Everything, Sean Covey. Illustrated by Stacy Curtis. One day, Jumper Rabbit bounced by Uncle Bud's park. Pokey, Porcupine, Stink, Skunk, and Tagalong Alley were playing a pickup game of basketball with some badgers. They asked Jumper to play. You bet, said Jumper. You can't play without sneakers, said Allie. Jumper was wearing flip-flops. I'll race home and get my favorite basketball sneakers right now, said Jumper. But Jumper's rabbit hole was a mess. He couldn't find his sneakers anywhere. He looked in his closet. He looked under his bed. He looked in all his sports gear. Jumper started tossing things out of his rabbit hole. He tossed out balls, toys, gloves, and more. Just then, Goob Bear walked by and Jumper's soccer ball hit him. Goob yelled, ouch, what are you doing, Jumper? Jumper said, I can't find my favorite basketball sneakers and I need them right now. Goob suggested they go back to the places Jumper had been. They raced across Cherry Creek to Lily's Burrow. The sneakers were not there. They looked for them at Sammy and Sophie's treehouse. The sneakers were not there. They dug up Allie's sandbox. The sneakers were not there. They stopped by Pokey's place. The sneakers were not there. They even looked in Goob's cave. They did not find the sneakers. I'll never be able to play basketball again for the rest of my life, wailed Jumper. Goob suggested they look in Jumper's rabbit hole again. Goob cheered up his friend as they walked back to Jumper's home. At Jumper's, Goob said, No wonder you can't find your sneakers. Your room looks like a tornado hit it. My dad taught me... A place for everything and everything in its place. What does that mean? asked Jumper. It means you have to organize your things so you can find them. Otherwise, you waste a lot of time looking for stuff, said Goob. Oh, said Jumper. Can you help me do that? It took a long time to clean up the hole. Finally, they found the basketball sneakers. They were under a big heap of smelly clothes. Jumper and Goob also found other missing things, like the silver dollar that Jumper's grandpa gave him. They raced back to Uncle Bud's park, but the game was all over. Bummer, said Jumper. Don't worry, Jumper. You'll be ready next time, said Goob. Goob invited Jumper to look for ladybugs. He just needed to find his magnifying glass. Luckily, Jumper knew where it was. Oops. The end. Let's go back real quick. The magnifying glass. Okay, do you see it? Look, it's right there in Goob's pocket. <laughs> All right, the end. Thank you for joining me for Miss Pam Reads.
Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you'll get an update when a new story posts. Bye.